Yesterday, I had three parts series of um, what I believed in. We all from different tribes, and still do. But let's don't get this twisted. I still believe in my Africanism. I still believe in um, understanding the conception of um, what is real and what is fake. Uh, I know for a fact history itself is just a lie. I know for a fact that a lot of my brothers and sisters are still in delusional. I know for a fact that we can be blinded to a lot of things. Um, sometimes we can stay on a broad of just one topic. And I don't, I don't get anything out of that. I don't get out, I don't get anything staying on just on one broad topic. I like to, to experience uh, a rivalry, different types of topics, you know. Sometimes the mind becomes bored, and I'm the type of person I get bored, you know, I get bored. I mean, once you find out who you are, once you find out, okay, I'm not a slave, my mind is not a slave, um, okay, now let's move on to the next idea. From that point on, you find out, okay, I'm from the original people, the origin of Africa. From that point now, I got to find out what tribe I come from. Shoot, well, you know, what tribe do I come from? Now, I know yesterday I bring that up plenty of times in all three of my series. You know, we got to stop pointing the fingers at each other. We got to find out what makes us better people, African people. What makes us stronger, African people. I'm going to tell you something. If you already know, the African people, we are very highly intelligent people. Even us African-American people that lives here in America, we're very highly intelligent. First of all, we adapted. We adapted to live here. Even though our other ancestors already was here. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. The Indians, okay, the indigenous people, they, they were already here. They're Africans too. Okay, but since we came from another part, well, I can't say we, because I, for me to go into my tree and find out that um, what part of Egypt or what part of Africa, north, south, west, east, where I'm truly from, I have to dig in. It's going to take time. You know, I have to be truly dedicated. You know what I mean? So right now, I am on a spiritual enlightenment to cleanse my mind, to cleanse my spirit and my soul. You know? And these steps that I have taken has awoken me on a serious level not sincerely serious like I gotta walk around with an attitude but walk around with uh, a purpose walk around with an understanding you know I don't walk around with a a buffoon if you will type of attitude okay you know only a buffoon is just a person who just don't know or you might know a little bit, but you're taking it too far. When I mean too far, it means um, you're taking it too far on certain levels, but you really don't know too much about that topic. You know, if you don't admit to it, admit that you don't know. So I suggest people, even if you do know, there's another thing, even if you do know, you can also still be a buffoon because you're not really educating anybody 
And what you're doing is some people have a tendency to put people down. Okay, when you put people down instead of educating them. You're putting them down, saying you's an idiot, you're a coon, you this and that. And you know, I, I've come to realize calling people other black people's coons is um, it's not it's 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 a it's a um, it's almost like a lack of education of calling them coon because. If they don't know no better, they don't know no better. You know what I mean? We have to really, we have to really, I told you before, we have to really look deep into our subconscious mind and, and ask yourselves, are they coons? I mean, because if, they can't be a coon if they don't know no better. Okay, and then if we educate them and they choose not to want to go with your system, it's like I stated before, what tribe do they come from? Because remember, you know, Africa has so many different tribes. So from that point on, we cannot call people coons, and these these are just these are just lack of a lack of education um, that we're using for ourselves. You know, we just want to hurt their feelings. This doesn't make you weak. Yeah, you know I mean, we have to be. You know, we have to be inspiring to our brothers and sisters. Okay, and if they don't want to change their mind and change their soul, we shouldn't get angry. Because they don't want to change. That's just them who they are. I really sincerely tell people this all the time. This is who they are. They have chosen their path. Okay? We can educate them. We can try to push them a little bit. You know, sometimes a little, push them a little hard too. Sometimes because if you be too weak with it, they, a person don't get it. Sometimes you really might have to be a little radical. But when these methods are not working, you know, leave them alone. They love living the way they live, you know, and I've stated before, you know, if you don't know what tribe you come from, it's a reason why a lot of people do not want to convert. They don't want to convert over. They know they from Africa, but they don't want to convert because you don't know what system they come from. You don't know what system or what part of Africa, as I told you before, from the east to the west, from the north to the south, you don't know. And if you don't know the system of whatever they, 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 they ancestors come from, you know, we got to look at it like that. You know what I mean? We can't sit there and sit there and go, well, we all united. We got to be united. I just keep saying this. United to what? You know what I mean? Those kings and queens back in ancient times, they all was, they were highly proud people. Okay? And I stated to you before, why did not kings and queens in our ancient times did not form together and started looking for us, you know, retrieve your people. Why they haven't retrieved their people? I mean, look at it to this day. Look at it to today. Look at it to this day. You know, if something happened in the community, you don't really get too many black people who really is like going to stand up and like, oh, well, you know, let's get together and let's go fight these people. No. But when it comes to fighting each other, it doesn't even matter what side you're on. South, north, west, east of Africa, war breaks out. I mean, it breaks out violently. Now, you, let's, let's see. There's a lot. I told you we're going to go deep, okay? Now, how in Africa a war breaks out? And when it does, it's violent. I mean, you're talking about thousands of people die. But you're not prepared to go against another group of people. It takes a special, a special kind of people to do that. You know, you rather side up with an, with an, an alien. Now, when I say alien, alien means not somebody from out of space. Alien means from out, from another country. Okay, that someone has never been in your place, never where you come. The alien from where you live in. Alien ain't always about the word alien. If you really look at it, it doesn't mean it's from out of space. Alien is something that is unknown. It's coming to, to, to your destination. It never been there. You never seen them. So let's don't use the word alien as a, at a out of content, which a lot of people will start thinking. Oh, he's talking about aliens now. No, I'm not talking about aliens. I'm talking about alien in the human form that you come from another place that I haven't seen you and you never seen me, in the human form. So let's get that out the way. So we need to start to re-educate ourselves. And I'll say it again, brothers and sisters. 
you can get mad and you know and talk about you don't know what you're talking about but if you open your eyes and stop hiding the truth you know I mean we we do a lot of damage to ourselves you know and i'm beginning to i'm going to take form and go that route now because we do a lot of damage to ourselves and if you do a lot of damage yourself guess what other group of people are watching that they watch how you perform they watch how you act and then hey if you walk around talking about i don't give a damn i don't give a shit so what you talk like that well guess what they don't have no problem giving a damn about you my brothers and sisters let's truly wake up okay let's wake up and we can stay on that road we can still you know pass the knowledge but let's pass the knowledge of building ourselves first reconstructing the way we should think and those who is not in the same tribe as, as we are you can feel it. it's in the spirit it's in the spiritual realm if they're not in the same spirit as we are and it's really the spirit of enlightenment that that flow the chi that flows it will lead us to our brothers and sisters and remember i told you everybody is not in our tribe okay and those who are not in our tribe will not join us they will not join us in this crusade remember that so we're all from different parts of the um, um of africa you know so some people might be from ethiopia you don't even know you don't even know that somebody's you know you gotta understand that i mean so we can continue on passing this knowledge this knowledge out but just don't forget that a lot of people don't take heed onto what we're talking about is because you don't know what tribe they're from that is something you shouldn't forget peace